Our product of powers rules tells us if you are multiplying two exponential expressions with the same base but different powers, all you have to do is add the exponents together. So a to the x times a to the y is the same as saying a to the x plus y. And this works because let's look at this example with 2 squared. 2 squared times 2 cubed, if you were to write that out, that's the same as saying 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. And altogether, that gives you 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 to the fifth, which is the same as adding our two original exponents together. A couple more examples of this, 3 to the fifth times 3 to the 15th, all I have to do is take my base, which stays the same, and add my exponents, which gives me 3 to the 20th. x squared times x to the 10 equals x, to, x to the 2 plus 10, which equals x to the 12th. Notice in all of these scenarios, this only works if the bases are the same. We also have our quotient of powers rule which says if you have the same base but you are dividing the base the bases with different exponents a to the x over a to the y as an example you can solve that or simplify that by subtracting the bottom exponent from the top exponent so a to the x minus y and this works if you kind of rewrite this for example you have over here 2 to the fourth over 2 squared that's the same as saying 2 to the 4th, and 2 squared on the denominator is the same as 2 to the negative 2. So I've got 2 to the 4th times 2 to the negative 2. Now I can use my product of powers, add our two exponents together. 4 minus 2 gives me 2 as a new exponent. So I get 2 squared, which is just 4. Let's look at a couple of other examples. 3 to the 5th over 3 cubed is the same as 3 to the 5 minus 3 which equals 3 squared. x to the 7th over x to the 6th is the same as x to the 7 minus 6, which equals just x to the 1, or x. Again, notice this is only if the bases of my exponents are the same.